Dear brothers and sisters, through the spirit of St. Augustine, this is a Sunday homily for the fifth Sunday of Easter year B. To remain or to dwell or to abide in Christ, this is what forms the message for this Sunday. This verb, to remain, appears several times in the Gospel passage of today and it indicates the communion that we are invited to have with Christ. As a matter of fact, the image used to explain this remaining or communion is the vine. What is the relevance of this image of vine that comes after the institution of the Eucharist? How and why do we need to remain in Christ just as branches remain connected to the vine? These two important questions will guide us in meditating and understanding today's passage. To begin with, let us briefly see why the vine is so important in ordinary life of the Jews. First, the First Testament, the vine is seen as one of the most precious riches that one could possess and at the same time it is a God-given gift to humanity. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 1. Secondly, theologically speaking, the people chosen by God, for instance Israel, was considered as a vine because God took care of them as the vine dresser. However, at a given moment, Israel as a vine was not faithful as God expected them to remain in Him. Thirdly, in the Gospel passage today, Jesus declares, I am the true vine. This declaration is true because Jesus as the true vine is faithful to His Father, the vine dresser, and at the same time, he bears much good fruit for the salvation of all humankind. Hence, he is a true vine. But then one may ask, why is this image of the vine used after the Last Supper? Indeed, after the institution of the Eucharist, before ascending to his Father, Christ on two occasions utters this to bear much fruit. We hear this expression to bear much fruit uttered only twice in the whole New Testament. It is in John chapter 12 verse 24. Jesus says that unless a grain of wheat dies, it can't bear much fruit. Again, in John chapter 15, verse 5, Jesus speaks of the disciples to bear much fruit. Otherwise, the mentioning of the wheat and the vine after the Last Supper is a way to lay emphasis on essential elements of the liturgy of the Eucharist, simply because the wheat and the wine are two complementary and essential elements of the liturgy of the Eucharist. When we receive Holy Communion, Christ comes to us and as we remain in Him. Indeed, perfect communion between us and Christ. Therefore, the liturgy of the Word and the liturgy of the Eucharist go hand in hand. We need the two in order to abide in Christ, thus building communion with Christ and eventually bearing fruits. Why is it necessary to remain in Christ? The connectedness between the branches and the vine helps the branches to make more fruits because nutrients from the roots reach all branches. Hence, 
When we remain in Christ, we shall get the necessary spiritual nutrients so as to bear much fruit. Christ is the true vine that absorbs good nutrients from his Father for our spiritual health. Disconnected from Christ makes us to suffer from spiritual marasmus that makes us to be spiritual dwarfs. Anyway, there are two types of branches that explains two types of Christians today. One that remains in Christ and is pruned in order to bear much fruit and the other one is disconnected from Christ by the worries and problems in this world. Which type could you be? Why remain or abide in Christ? There are three reasons as to why we have to remain in Christ. One, to bear much fruit. God's word prunes us so that we can get more nutrients to bear much fruit. How often does the word of God prune our Christian life? As a fact, the vine does not eat its own grapes. We too are called to share our fruits of remaining in Christ with others. That is why St. John in the second reading reminds us to love one another. The second reason why to remain in Christ is to get our needs. When we abide in Christ, we can ask what we need and God will give it to us. To have faith in Christ is to remain in Christ and to love one another is to remain in Christ. The final reason as to why we have to remain in Christ is to be his disciples. To remain in Christ is to be his disciples and this gives glory to God, the vine dresser. Are we his disciples in this sense? To conclude, the relationship between the Father and Christ shows us the communion that exists between them based on love. Again, the relationship between us and Christ shows us the communion that we are called to have because it starts with one being baptized and then sustained by the Holy Communion that we receive during Holy Mass. The Word of God and other experiences in life prunes us so as to bear much fruit. Above all, love renders this communion possible in all cases. May we remain in Christ and bear much fruit in our Christian life. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday. Nice.